hey so what's going on guys make it with driven tech reviews and welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys the new addition to the garage which is what i have right behind here this is an atv from michelon so without further ado let's check it out all right guys so this is the michelon 200l pro so this comes with all the bells and whistles and of course l means it's like standard wheel base so i've been using this for the better part of a week or so and honestly, I'll be having a ton of fun with it. Okay, so let's get through the specs real quick. So this is obviously a 200cc motor we have right here. So this is a carburetor motor. It's not the latest EFI. So yeah, that's why the price. So talking about price, it ranges from around 7,009 to 8,005. Depends on uh, what spec you get it in. So they do have the A and they do have the L so this is the L which is the higher spec and on top of that this is fully specced with all the accessories so which I'll be showing you guys in a moment so this is a 4x2 this is not a 4x4 so which means that it's only rear wheel drive okay so let's take a quick look around the front so starting from the top we do have this rack right here with the cover so this is all optional otherwise it's just the bars as you can see in the slits right here so it just comes with the regular bars but then this comes with the additional cover which holds a max load of 15 kgs so that's a good thing so coming down to the front we get Michelin branding of course in the center we get the angel eyes on both sides we get signal lights on both sides as well and then we get this additional bar right here so it's a crash bar and at the bottom we do get a winch so yeah this comes standard i should say I think all their models, the, the R3 model comes with the winch. Okay, so taking a look at the wheels, these are 10 inch wheels, front and rear. So of course, the I, I believe the, the width is different. So the rear is 10, front is 8, something like that. So yeah, 22 inch tires in the front and 20 inch tires in the rear. I believe that is the spec for the tires. Okay, so taking a look at the front, we do have a... Uh, McPherson strut on the front you can see how it all comes together we have a pretty good uh, adequate adjustable strut on the front so you can see a bit of the engine right there of course we do have an oil cooler here as well so yeah both sides are the same let me just give you a tour from both sides so far the suspension has been pretty good and it has been very compliant so coming around the side we do have uh, extended what should i call this place to put your foot so yeah this comes with additional step for the rear passenger because this is the l version so we do have additional leg room for the rear passenger right here which is pretty good so of course yeah the usual atv stuff we have a michelon branding see the rear tires right here so coming to the top we do have the backrest so this is a very nice comfortable backrest in fact the seats are really really comfortable very nice to sit on and we do have this handlebars grips for the rear as well okay so coming to the back we do have tail lights led tail lights on both sides we do have the Michelin branding in the center as well as signal lights so this one of the reason why i got this version over the hammer the Hammer R1 I should say because this has signal lights and I do plan to ride it on the road so yeah it's good to have the signal lights there okay so taking a look at the bottom we do have a solid axle and we do have a single disc brake you can see right here so the front has two disc brakes independent disc brakes so I forgot to show you guys that so we do have a towing eyelet right here if you do want to tow anything so this is pretty solid I've seen people tow pretty heavy weights with this in fact you can see the suspension setup so it's a single strut in the center and it's also chain driven see right here so you can see how the frame looks like of course the exhaust is right here so i'll show you guys a startup later on give you guys a tour so pretty identical this is a cvt transmission so it's not a manual it's a fully automatic so you do have a manual starter here just in case the electric start doesn't work so you can actually just pull this and get it started so you will not get stranded it's a good thing they added that so you can see right here the front these brakes both sides see so this brake right here as well so both are independent left and right these brakes for the front all right guys so coming to the front 
for the top of the bike and the handlebar area we do get a 9 liter fuel tank so this can be filled with regular unleaded fuel you can just go to any pump gas and just get it pumped up so very easy and convenient so okay taking a look at the left of the handlebar we do have the lights these are the high beam and low beam we have the regular lights right here we have the starter the brakes of course the rear brakes and then we do have turn signals we do have the horn and then we also have the left view mirror and moving on to the right side we have of course the accelerator the throttle we do have the right mirror so all these are optional actually even the guards behind here so they are all optional so this comes with all the optional accessories installed and yeah i think this is a very good system because i think it's easier to control overall okay moving to the center this is where we have our display which shows our ref and our signal and what gear we are on so you can see right here it actually shows what gear you're on you shift it to drive neutral reverse then all the signal lights everything works just as you would expect okay guys so now we will just give a quick start so we just need to press the brake press it starter starts right up see the throttle you see right here that looks really really cool okay so let me show you the lights these are your first step lights right here let me show you guys the back the back adequate exhaust is not too loud too so it's perfect all right guys so this has been a quick look at the Michelin hammer r3 200l so this is the pro version with the full accessory package so i'll definitely be showing you guys some riding footage later on in the, the next couple of videos or maybe some youtube shots so yeah, it's going to be pretty fun. I will be installing some uh, accessories as well to go along with this, probably the light bar in front because I think these lights are not that adequate. Of course, it's, nothing's perfect. So yeah, definitely some things to get done before I actually take this on real rides. Right, so thanks for watching. If you like the video, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one and I'll catch you guys in the next video.